What goes up but never comes down? That's today's riddle. Comment down below what you think the answer is. Don't cheat, and I'll tell you the answer later in the video. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Another bit of a streaming news video today, and I was just scrolling through social media like you do, and then I saw something say, all the streaming boxes suck now. And this got me intrigued, like it would anybody, so let's take a look. Because I can bet you, it's a load of shit, right? So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on. Right, so if you take a quick look at this post here from The Verge, as you can see, all the streaming boxes suck now. There are no good streaming boxes, and I blame everybody. Now, this is a good one to get your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. What streaming device do you use? Do you think it'd make a difference if streaming boxes didn't exist? Do you think this post on point, or do you think it's full of shit? <laughs> now, as always, I'm not going to read absolutely everything. I'm going to scan over it, but just to have a general chat about it, and once again, it's about what's happening and being spoken about around the streaming world. So streaming boxes had so much potential. They were going to reinvent the cable box for the internet age and make it easier for users to find and organize and watch everything available in this era of infinite content. They were going to turn TVs, the hub of our homes, into smart gadgets through which we could do almost anything. Streaming boxes were the next big thing. Now, I will leave a link in the description down below to this post if you want to take a look at it because like I said it's a long post I don't want to read through it all and after that it says instead well streaming boxes suck you can't find a single product on the market that comes even remotely close to satisfying this vision instead of a thriving hardware and software category streaming boxes have turned into ever cheaper commodity items and then it goes on to say a shop down the road crammed between batteries sits a Roku Express HD for $30, and it's as good a buy as anything else. Streaming boxes are bad, and they're getting worse instead of better. Now, I'm somebody, honestly, I disagree with that. I think streaming boxes have totally transformed how we watch TV. A lot of people don't even watch live TV anymore. Everything's on demand, and it's done through a streaming box or a streaming device. You could argue that a lot of people have now owned smart TVs and they can watch it directly inside that, but there are limitations to smart TVs, as we know, and a streaming device makes getting all those things a lot easier. And then you've got people that don't own smart TVs and got TVs in different rooms. Streaming devices, once again, game changer. It does say you could almost agree that in their current form, streaming boxes don't need to exist at all. By most measures, majority of consumers already own a smart TV. And if you're in the market for a new set, you can barely find one that doesn't have some sort of operating system built in. Like we've just said, yes, Smart TVs have their own operating system, but there are limitations. A lot of them you can't even download and install third-party apps, which is one of the main purposes for a streaming device. And then it just goes on to say about TVs, of course. Most of those smart TVs are slow, riddled with ads, and try to track your every move. But yeah, we've just been told that streaming devices, they suck. And you could argue they shouldn't exist because we've got smart TVs, but yet smart TVs are slow and riddled with ads and all that. And then it says the perfect streaming box doesn't exist, and who's to blame for that? Everybody. But it starts with the streaming services themselves. For a streaming box to truly serve its cable box purpose, it would need to index and access all the content available on every service so users could search and organise as they like. You can see how this plays out by looking at the home screen of any set-top box on the market. They don't lead with content, they lead with apps. Even the ones that have tried hard to bring shows and movies to the forefront, like the new Google TV interface, still fall back to apps on the second row of the home page. And that your Fire TV is going to absolutely shove Freevee down your throat, while Roku will never let you forget the Roku channel exists. This is something you can kind of relate to and agree with, but I don't know if you're the same. If you use a streaming device, I don't really spend any time on the home screen whatsoever. So if there were any content on there, I, I wouldn't really take any notice. And yes, a lot of the content shown on home pages is more 
sponsored ads like slots where the service is paid to be there but this is kind of saying that it's an issue that apps are on the home page when that's the main use of the streaming device it goes on to say about apple tv and i did look at social media and a lot of people were saying how can you say my apple tv's dog shit when it's awesome and then it does go on to say what about the shield the shield is amazing and you're not wrong Huh? A minute ago, we were talking about such as the Android TV interface not delivering content, and that was an issue. And then there's some other stuff in here as well, but I'm fed up of reading now. But like I said, it's one of those, what's happening around the streaming world, a bit of streaming news. And also, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Yes, I personally think streaming devices could do with some adjustments, but it also does say streaming devices like your fire tvs and your google chromecasts they're sold for such a cheap price because they kind of sell stuff to you on the device as well and gets you into their ecosystem like i said me personally if i launch a streaming device i know which app i want to go on and i simply go straight onto that the home screen the layout and all that sort of stuff it doesn't really make a difference to me how the device performs is the main thing and it is important to note as well each streaming device is slightly different they've got a different launcher there's people who like amazon devices there's people who don't like them and would rather go for a chromecast or a roku or an apple tv and yes they are different in some respects but they're still very useful to have aren't they but yeah just one of those where i'm really interested to see your thoughts about it the answer to the riddle is age now it is one of the sad things of life you're never going to get any younger and did you get this right or did you cheat but yeah i'll see you down there right so that being said i hope you enjoyed the rest of your day if you're interested in streaming news don't forget to check out the other videos on the channel as well don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon Ta-da!